You have a good off season. Looks like you've been skipping arm day, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here with Kid Canada himself, Tyson Philpot, Stan Peters, wide receiver, Reggie Bagleton. Reigning most outstanding Canadian, Brady Oliveira. There's, a, there's an old saying that a lot of people like to say, football is a, is a microcosm of life. The game of football is a game of relationships. Yeah. Mm, I mean, relationships within your locker room, yes. But okay. I would say it's definitely very physical and violent, and I want to rip your head off and smack heads. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, one would say, right? Yeah, one would say. Okay. You could say. In life, sometimes you'll hear this in the dating world a little bit. You hear about green flags, you hear about red flags. Green flag is something that maybe you do that's like, it's a good sign. Positive. It's and positive. a red flag is something that, you know, if, if you see that, it's just, just run. Yeah, it's a good you heard of this before? Definitely. Do you have any green flags about yourself? Green flag. We talk, so, we're talking football, right? We, we can talk off-field stuff. What's, talk maybe, maybe you're very tidy. Maybe your room's always clean. That's a green flag. I'm a people person, so like, I like to see everybody happy. And I think that that's that's my green flag. I'm not a I'm not a yes man. Uh, green flag for Brady Oliveira. Uh, I would say, good human being. Um, will look out for others. Uh, take my shirt off the back, give it to you if you need it. Type of guy, you know. Yeah, I think my green flag is that um, I motivate the people around me with my play. What's what's a red flag about Tyson Philpott? Because oh. I mean, lately it seems like there are none. I mean, you're just oh. catching game-winning touchdowns. What's a deep dark secret? So now you want me to expose myself? Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm a little messy. A little messy. You know? I think it's fine. The locker, uh, like my locker, is my equipment guy doesn't like me too much. You know, <laughs> I had a rule where I wasn't allowed to leave the locker room without my stuff being off the floor. So we got green flags and red flags in relationships and in football in the CFL. Mm -hmm. Orange flags. You see these probably <laughs> flying around the field. Yeah. Maybe sometimes you're not happy to see me. Maybe sometimes you are. Can you hold this for me, sir? I've never held one of these before. Really? No. I feel like it would be a flag if you picked up the rest yeah, of Yeah, it would. So that's probably a good that's, idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give Penalty, you... Penalty, violation, There you whatever. go. Yeah. You're, you're going to be the judge of that. So I'm going to give you some prompts that describe some potential characteristics that your teammates might sort of emit okay. and I'm gonna ask you if you think this is a orange flag so it's borderline it's almost a red flag okay, I want you to throw the flag for me, okay <laughs> right, yeah. playing in the CFL there's a lot of travel team bus team plane uh -huh. there's definitely some snorers in these situations <laughs> are we rocking with that or is that just like it, you'll allow it you won't say anything but like you don't like when people yeah, we'll allow it, but I mean, at the same time, we'll just mess with that person. I'm good. I, I played at Penn State, which is 110,000 people. I, I can block that out. I'm cool. If we're on the bus, I think you're going to have to let it slide. Okay. If that guy is your roommate in the hotel for a game. There you go. For sure. Oh, yeah, we dropped that. Dropping that right Drop away. Dropped that ASAP. I'm allowing it. Yeah, yeah it's okay. It. I'm a headphones guy, so okay, I'm, you know, I'm not yeah, even gonna care, right? Yeah. Some, some, some people sleepy, man. You know, some people don't get proper rest, so they might need their little nap real quick, little power nap. So if there's a guy that's snoring, it's like, bro, especially the old lineman. The old lineman snores loud, so it's like, you know, you kind of get, you don't get as much sleep as you need as a person on the outside, and uh, it's not as fun for everybody else to hear that over and over again. Like, sit up there with your coaches. They need to hear the snoring, not us in the back. <laughs> um, an important part of every team is a team group chat. But when the off season dies down, people want some time to themselves. There's always that one guy who just won't shut up in the group chat. And it's just firing, firing off. Do you have a problem with that or is it, or is it cool? Do not disturb. You're, you're muting me. Do not disturb, man. It, listen, especially if it's a group chat that two people are just talking when they could have just been talking to each other. Probably, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. I haven't witnessed or you know experienced anyone just yapping off at the mouth in any of the group chats yet so there's no flag yet but okay. yeah if somebody was just talking all the time just constantly sending stuff gifs and everything and your phone is always blowing up yeah i'm throwing the flag i want to say it's okay because it's me it's you <laughs> yeah it's so me. you're the guy i i am the guy you, you get memes from me you get like five messages in a row from me without anyone responding and I don't get the memo. Like, I just keep sending for sure. And someone's gonna eventually respond, right? So. I like that. You need, every team needs that. <laughs> I swear, know? right? Like, keep the guys on their toes. Yeah. And it's not just football stuff, you know, it's everything. There's too many ding, 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 coming to my phone. Somebody has to take that, that burden and be that person that keeps the chat alive. And however they have to do that, they have to do that. So I, I appreciate it. I think that it's a good thing to have somebody like that in the chat. 
Um, so no flag on that. Yeah, I think, you know, sometimes just... Throw it on mute. Yeah. yeah it's not. just like, you know, keep work, work, and sometimes okay. private, private, you know. If it's random in the off season, most of the time guys are busy. So just kind of... Just kind of chill, chill out a little bit, throw yeah. the chat on mute, maybe. Yeah. Maybe just kick the guy out of the chat <laughs> if he's really not shutting up. What about uh, on-field style? Mr. Accessories. I feel like everyone's got that guy. Mm -hmm. What about uh, Mr. Accessories on the football field? They overdo it on the sweatbands. They got the arm tape, the arm sleeve, the visors maybe got a little too much smoke. Yeah. At a certain point, is it just too much? Too much, for sure. You get a flag for that. Okay. At, at some point, you know, it's probably slowing you down. Like, you know, it's it's too too much. And I like, not, not to put the point on anybody, but I feel like those guys usually aren't the best. Usually those guys are the ones we game plan against, you know. Guys try to go overboard. I mean, sometimes it affects the way they play. Like if it's, it's affecting the way you play, then that, that, that's too much. I always say ball carriers never have sleeves. I want to I want to feel that ball on, on the skin. Um, so anytime I see someone fumble and they're wearing a sleeve, it's like, hey, maybe that was a little bit too much. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a flag on that too. I don't know how you don't pop the ball when you grab it with those <laughs> arms, but anyways. Throwing the I flag, can't eh? stand that. Yeah. Like, what, what you, you trying to get TV time? Like, that's your whole purpose of doing that? I understand swag. Swag, allow you know you look good, you feel good, you play good. But at the same time, when you overdo it, then you just want to, yeah, you just want to get laughed at. That, that's all go. that is. Because the second you make a wrong play, like everybody's looking at you, looking like boo boo the fool. My dad actually played football, and his team would wear you know black cleats and white socks. is very old school, and I never wanted to look like that. And so forever, for my entire career, I always wanted to make sure I had a little bit of swag. So swag to me is important. And if it takes six armbands, do it. If it takes an arm sleeve and a visor, do it. Um, as long as you're able to perform. You gotta be able to perform with the swag. If you can't perform, then you might as well not have the swag at all. Then it gets a little excessive. Then I would throw the flag. And it's a defensive thing, if I'm gonna be honest. Like yeah. the sweat thing, that's all defense. Receiver. No, no. Well, that's classic DB, you know? Yeah. The, over, the quarterback overthrows the ball 20 yards and their seat bucks <laughs> off you guys. Like yes. that's, that, is, that is my pet peeve. For sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's too much. Uh, so now I have to tell a story about this. So he'll never do it in the games, but like in practice all the time. And now it's my ex team, and I'm very sad about this actually. Jamarcus Hardrick. <laughs> Yoshi is just like the most like outrageous when it comes to like dressing for practice. So this guy will put you know, like a towel you wear behind, yeah. you know, the quarterback towel? Yeah. He'll put those behind his calves. He'll have the armbands on his legs with the socks hanging out, armbands on his arm, uh, maybe one sleeve and some armbands, the, the black visor, headband, just like outrageous. Did you call maybe, him maybe out? like a, yeah, I'm like, dude, what are you wearing? Like you're an O-line. He's like, don't worry, only, only for practice, never in the game, which is true. He never wears that for the game. So you just let Yoshi be Yoshi, you're in practice. But yeah, I think the, the guys that kind of go, you know, just keep it clean and simple, man. Like me, it's just like fresh pair of gloves, a fresh towel, you know, my eye black, headband, clean and simple. Clean and simple. Anything else, for sure. Like too much, dude. Like just let your play do the talking, you know? So the Brady Oliveira model. It's clean and simple. Clean and simple. Absolutely. Rip someone's head off. Yes. Vicious. Totally. Yes. Every no single reference. week, every single game, every day. I appreciate it. Orange yes. flags with Brady Oliveira. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. It was a lot of fun.